Hello drummers and other creatures. I'm doing that loud talking thing. I'm here with Dave Collingwood. Hello. In Bristol, at the headquarters of the internationally acclaimed Collingwood Symbols. That's me, right? yeah. And I'm here to learn how to make a symbol. These are going to be the symbols. They're not exactly yes. symbols yet. So, uh, yeah, Dave, what are we going to do today? We're going to take these and we're going to sit here and you are going to swing a hammer several hundred times until the shape changes and therefore the sound changes yep. and you leave the place happy. That's what's going to happen. Is that guaranteed? Yes. <laughs> okay, oh good, that's Part a good deal. Yeah. What are these things, like what's the state of them at the moment? So these are what's called blanks, they're Turkish B20 bronze, which is the good stuff. Yep. Uh, the best symbol material. Sure there's like an argument in there. Not getting into that. <laughs> there is always an argument in these things, but I'm not having it. Um, yeah, they've come from Turkey, made to my specification. So we've got a 16 and we've got an 18 as requested. So we're making two different types of symbols. So you can see how to do things a bit differently and yeah. how that makes different results. Uh, yeah, they've been heated and rolled and melted together in the factory in Turkey and sent to me and we're doing the cold work, which is the compression and the stretching with the hammer and then we'll go through to the lathe, which we'll see later. Um, let's have a listen, yeah. maybe you could demonstrate. Mm -hmm. Here's a handy drumstick. Well, you, I mean, you said, about they're, you said about they're not symbols yet, but yeah. one of the things as a symbol maker, it already makes a noise. So, yeah. you know, on one hand, why are we changing it? Is it a symbol? Is it a symbol? It's an instrument. Anyway, this is the 16. The 18. Yeah, so I mean, it's not inconceivable. There's already some artistic merit and, and musical use to that. Definitely. People buy blanks from me to play, you know? Yeah, oh, okay. It makes a noise. Do you, you can make those stacky things, I guess. And I do make those stacky things, and there's more arguments to have there as well. Uh, okay, uh, oh, yeah. all right, good. Cool, okay, so let, let's uh, get on with some symbol making. Let's swing some hammers, yeah. Excellent. So you'll be using this. Mm -hmm. It's a Turkish symbol hammer, yeah. and it's heavy. It's a bit heavy. So it'll probably take a bit like drumming. So this is basically coming up and down, and you see there's like a flat portion on the yeah. anvil kind of here. We're just kind of aiming in there and this hand is moving the symbol. The first thing to do really is just to get you used to actually holding the hammer and hitting the symbol. Mm -hmm. What we're looking for ideally, if you listen to, yeah. that's not so good, but that yeah. is good. Mm -hmm. You can go to town on this thing. This is. Okay, that's, so that's yours. Fine. So, I mean, you've you've seen half of it now. I'm going to start on the top, but a bit further away from the edge mm -hmm. for reasons, which we will get to. We're going to start probably about I don't know two thirds ish down down the body. The brain is working. What do you mean? I don't know, you need to concentrate on this. Me? No, me. You? Yeah. <laughs> That's a hell of a day job. It's a hard yeah. work. Tell me about it. So this is the 18 inch. Just the 18 inch. First hammering stage, is that? Really? First hammering, yeah, top. Then we've got done the second round of hammering. So yeah. the crash symbol was first hammered on the bottom, on the underneath. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, turned over and hammered on the top. Yes. And it went through a process of being very not symbol shaped, and then becoming more symbol shaped. Yeah. Yeah. So so the hammering underneath turned it into one of those kind of clap stack 
yep. taco kind of shapes. And I keep forgetting, this started bottom and then top? Yep. Yeah. And this and was top then bottom. Top then bottom, and then this is the crash. And uh, we've done a little hardening of the surface. There's a bit of tightness now in the. Yeah. People like to use the word tension. It actually has a stick sound. No crash still. Very interesting. Yeah. Onwards. Yeah. Good. So Dave, tell us oh, yeah, where, okay. where are we now? Um, At what stage of symbol making? You said we've reached a level. We yeah, I think these two symbols have reached a level in the sense that they're going to be two different symbols. We're going more crash territory and a more ridey sort of thing. They're both getting formed. The, the shape isn't crazy wild or wavy or tacoed or anything. Kind of flat-ish with some work to do. Mm -hmm. But there's strength in them. There's profile. And what I should say as well is the more work you do at the moment, the more choked the metal's going to sound. So. The symbol you go away with today, or the symbols, in the next two or three days will sort of open up in sound. Ah, so okay. they'll be like choked versions they of what they'll be. Bit. Yeah, they yeah. just rest and open up and the metal goes, it's like, what are you doing? And then it trusts you after a few days. <laughs> so I'd say we're, we've got a couple of rounds of hammering left. Yep. Um, I think they've each had like one round underneath and then three or four on top. Yeah. There's been no flipping inside out apart from yours at the beginning to get the structural yeah. work in. And now we're just building on the shape. And so I'd say another couple of rounds of hammering and we'll be ready for the lathe. Okay, let's have a... Go for it. Okay, that sounds a little bit more musical already. Mm. So I'm going, I'm going intuitively here. Yeah, okay, yeah, let me just see what's going on. So because the profile starts becoming high and strong, yeah. you can, again, like I was saying, if the symbol's low and you start hammering on the top, mm -hmm. if the profile's low, it, it, it can fold inwards and take that top work too far. Yeah. But what we can actually start doing now is coming out, we need to get closer to the edge. Okay. Just to even the shape out all around. Yeah. So you can actually, because you've got a nice climb from the edge up into the shape, you can start hammering on the top. I think, yeah. I think I've done it. Because I, I feel like I'm a bit more wonky than before. Okay. There's a few dips and stuff, aren't there? There are. So, there comes a point in every symbol's life, every blank's life, where this can happen. Yeah. Especially, you know, beginning. But the good thing is that it's tight. It's really, really tight. And so the work you've done on top gives us space now. It's, it's entered a new phase where it's mm -hmm. like, the more top work that happens now, the more this is going to start sinking down. Yeah. So the signal that it's giving us is, actually, it's time to go underneath. We're ready for the lathe. We've done several rounds of hammering. We've several rounds of hammering. A good few hours hammering these symbols. Yes, you have. Yeah, yeah. we have. You yeah. both have. So, yeah, um, they've had hammering for strength, hammering for shape, and of course, first and foremost, hammering for sound. But all those things are the same thing anyway. 
Mm -hmm. And they're at a state where, they, like I said before, they're going to sound choked, but what you should find is there's kind of a refinement to the sound, and yeah. there's a hint of what the symbol's going to be. The breath that you're going to get in the final symbols will be in there somewhere. The symbols yeah. are in there, we've just got to tease them so out. So we're going to start... I'm going to start hearing... Sounding like something... Yeah, but like I said before, these are going to be a very choked version of what they'll be in two, three, four days, a week, a couple yep. of weeks. Give it a few days and it'll basically be what it's going to be. And of course the lathing will change things. But it's going to start giving us a clue about what to expect from the stick and the openness okay. and the character in general. But let's see, yeah, let's see what we get. So the crash first. Yeah, we can... It's starting to open up there. Yeah. There's a sense of the tone of it. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, as a, if it it's was to be low. a dry crash, yeah. that would be usable. Mm. Yeah. It, it's know. nearly there. Yeah. Yeah. That, that really is starting to take on... Uh, yeah. Okay, it's very low pitched. The, the lathing is going to make it... Is it going to change the pitch yeah, down in, a little bit even, or...? This is where... It's complicated. It's complicated. It yeah. kind of changes the pitch both down and up. It, yeah. it, it changes the spread. I guess we'll, we'll find out. So, so in, what, in, what's, what is this terrifying thing? This is a tube of steel, which I've made with some, some uh, bolts that go through and hold this in place. And I've got all sorts of different shapes. Oh, okay of these, and they are shaped and very, very sharp and tungsten carbide tipped. I've got this under my shoulder, yeah. and I hold down here, it's There's like quite a, a lot of force on that, I guess. There can be, yeah, so it's like a pivot here, like a, holding a snooker cue. Yeah. And then I've got a kind of wide stance, and it's actually the legs and the body that do the movement. Yeah. And you see the cut, yeah? So if I just do one, and then yeah. we'll see what happens. This is kind of this hand's kind of grabbing on here, yeah, and that under there. You might find it easier to grab like that. Don't try and go too far in one go. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. two symbols between us and uh, yeah it was an amazing day thank you very Good. much you're very welcome I was yeah. um, I wasn't really sure that I'd end up with that I, I, I've got a I've got a symbol that I'm gonna play yeah I think that's what surprises some people is yeah. that it's not just you, you don't just do a bit of hammering and get something like a symbol you go away with a usable with an pro symbol. handmade symbol yes yeah. that's, that's the deal beautiful I'm very excited to be playing this symbol of the next, cool. and, and to see how it sort of um, mellows into itself it, over mellow, the next few days and weeks. Yeah, it'll bloom, it'll open up a bit, the, the sparkle will arrive yep. slowly. Any, if, if I can ask, any surprises in the process or any things you were expecting that did or didn't happen? I don't know, yeah, I don't, I don't know that I expected that much. Yeah. Well, no, that doesn't sound very positive, does it? I, <laughs> I was expecting an amazing day, I'm taken, yeah. but I didn't have any specific expectation about mm -hmm. what we were going to do, except for the very vaguest notion that we were going to whack the thing with a hammer and then yep. lathe. Um, but yeah, uh, I suppose it's, I don't know, it's very physical. 
yeah. process. Yeah. Um, but no, it's really enjoyable. I really enjoyed doing it. And Good. Again, I enjoyed the intuitive way that you kind of basically shared your knowledge mm -hmm. and um, but let us sort of get on with it and, and let yeah. the hammer speak for itself or whatever. And uh, yeah. yeah, I try to be a little hands off. I try to let you find your way and yeah. let the metal speak to you. And yeah. I'm just kind of the go between in a way. Yeah, beautiful. So I, I feel like a lot of just doing the stuff ourselves. Mm. Yeah, great. I don't have a snappy way of wrapping <laughs> it up, unfortunately. Do your catchphrase. That's yep. it. Yeah, now I have to do my now it's catchphrase thing. The, I mean, the, the, I suppose the final thing I would say is uh, if you have any interest in making a symbol, come and see Dave in Bristol. Mm. From wherever you are in the world, you will be welcome. Yep. Uh, it's it's worth, it's worth doing. This is a great experience. So cool. uh, give Dave a, an email or a call or whatever and, and come and make a symbol in Bristol because it's really, really cool. And uh, now I think it's time for you to get off and practice. That's it. That's the okay. catchphrase. That's it. <laughs> nice one. Symbol making skills. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, thank you.